It was the game. Simmons was out of three? Simmons is best of three, and Rockman won 3 1. Oh, wow. Oh. Well, okay. He won. I thought it was 2 2. You guys aren't paying attention. Yikes. Well, I guess that was the last round of that set, so that's going to go straight to Rockman. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got All ourselves right. set up, we set back up. Finals, boys. All right, we're in winners' finals now. We have Jinx versus Rockman. Rockman's coming out of a pretty good game, uh, beating uh, beating Jetty as Pokemon trainer. Okay, so already going for some some pressure with that. Now this is going to be a bit of a harder matchup. Uh, absolutely. Oh, uh, as we all know, Whiff does beat Zone. Yeah. And uh, this is a Zony type of player versus a Whiff type of player. So JDL is going to have to, not JDL, my apologies. Rockman is going to have to play a little bit out of his comfort zone and start to adopt the aggro playstyle if he hopes to win this. And absolutely going for that, throwing out the Zony option and then immediately going for the aggro grab. Yeah, okay. That was very close. That was a lot of shield pressure coming from Rockman. That could have been very dangerous he has for to go Jace. In on her. He's not going to beat her trying the zone because that is not how you beat a whip type of player. And yeah. on the side of... What a okay, player. what an up tilt. An That's going to do it. Excellent, excellent adjustment coming out from the side of Rockman. We're seeing him go from the zoning playstyle to the aggro playstyle using a character like Mega Man. But it does... It's the play against Jinx, and it does get called out. Yeah, Jinx is the king of the revenge kill. Making it back narrowly to stage. Holy crap. Going for the kidnap. And again, going for this aggressive... Playstyle. This is what he needs to do in order to throw Jinx off of his game. Mm -hmm. And then once he's Jinx starts to adopt the aggro playstyle, he can then shift the win. And then once. All right, Jinx is at a hundred. We're gonna start up that rage. Now we're off stage. What could happen? What's gonna happen? All right, we're we're behind him now. Forward air, out of a down throw. Ooh. Yeah, that was some nice, that was some nice edge game from Mega, from Rockman, but not being able to catch him. Both players adjusting a little bit more now. Jinx is looking like he's Rockman is playing Catches very. It, and yeah. he's gonna collect that KO for his trouble. Yeah, he has been playing very patiently, and it has been rewarded. He has Jinx down, uh, down to one stock. This is very game scary one. for Jinx, especially for round one. What's the rest of the game gonna look like? Oh my goodness. What an aggro playstyle. Yes, this is what you need to see against someone trying to adjust. And once Jinx makes the adjustment, Jinx just hasn't adjusted yet. He needs to start shifting from that whiff playstyle into more of a zone playstyle in order to beat the aggro playstyle. Yeah. And then once he shifts from aggro to zone, it's just a constant circle of adjustments being made. And it's just whoever can make the most adjustments. Ah, uh, yeah. Right. So now Jinx is starting to take it back. Oh, this oh is... my goodness, that's a very scary situation. This is pretty crazy. Okay. We're starting to see Rockman adjust more to the whiff type oh, of Oh, what a nice right parry there. into Excellent a Z-drop. Excellent. Okay, punish. back air. Gonna do a Z-drop, but gonna get caught out by the Nair. The yep, and Jinx is just gonna throw out a bunch of hitboxes, get some free damage. Uh, we are back at center stage. Jinx is back at center stage. Rockman oh my struggling goodness. to keep things going his way. Jinx is at about 50% rage. Okay. Trying to call out that downward recovery. Does Both not these get players it, are just trying to call each other out. Here. And eventually... Didn't realize he got reset. Yeah. And Rockman takes game. Honestly, that was just, that was just a minute straight of two players trying to call each other out. And that's how it should be. Yeah. Once you get to the top levels to play, it's not about who's better than who, it's about who adjusts the most. Mm -hmm. straight into this game too. All right, so we are up in round two, 
and we are taking this to our favorite stage battlefield. Don't you love it, Mario players? Now, Palutena is... I mean, as I was saying before, with Beat Zone, yeah. all the time, that is that is how that happens. It's like rock, paper, scissors. With Beat Zone. So, but uh, you still need to whiff punish, and you have to adjust with him, because if he's not zoning, you're not going to beat it. Yeah, I got to ask, what do you mean by whiff? Now, um, me and me, I, I've been uh, doing a little bit of research about the different ways. There was an article that was uh, that was made with Kazunoko, Justin Wong, and a third player whose name escapes me at the moment, but they were talking about the different styles of music. Okay. Oh my goodness, calls out the teleport. Oh and man. spikes him with the most epic proportion. All right, for doubles. Rockman has been getting so many down airs, it's not even funny. He has the read, man. Yeah, this is talking about the different play styles of neutral loud you was saying before. When I mentioned whip, when I mentioned zone, when I mentioned aggro, these are the different pillars. These are your rock, paper, and your scissors. These are the way that this is formatted. Absolutely. Aggro play style is exactly what it sounds like. It's rush down, it's uh, running straight in, throwing out different options that your opponent is not expecting you to go out, and trying to run offense through that means. Oh, After man. that, you have what beats that is the whip play style. So, no, I am my apologies. What beats the aggro play style is the zoning play style. The zoning play style is exactly how it sounds. Someone like Mega Man, throwing back, throwing projectiles, stuffing out the aggro, the aggressive options your opponent is trying to throw out at you with projectiles. So, and throwing out things, expecting your opponent to be in certain situations. You're throwing out pellets because you think your opponent's trying to pack a poker back air, yeah. so to speak. And the last playstyle that beats the zoning playstyle is the whiff yeah. playstyle. Whiff punishing. Calling out your opponent, throwing out a ah. certain option that you're looking for them to throw out. See, that's exactly what I thought you meant. Exactly how you would expect that to happen. Right. So, back, so uh, putting our primary folks back into the game here, <laughs> um... We are going to see Jinx go down to his final stock. Rockman is at 108. Uh, Jinx has to be pretty careful because uh, rage is a thing in this game. And yes. Rockman does have some pretty strong uh, get out of my face options. So, let's see. Okay, we are going to see some zoning stuff. I'm trying to space. Okay. And that's, a nice that's back such air a crosser. great thing to rely on in a matchup like this. You do not want to use whiff punishing in a game where the character that you're facing is better at whiff punishing. Yeah. Palutena is designed to whiff punish. So instead of going up against that, you played your strengths. Did not believe in the down air. Did not believe he was going to catch the two frame with that. And then catches the two frame with that. Funny stuff coming out from the side of Rockman right there. Yeah, but exactly. Because, like, Jinx's play style, you he's know, whiff punishing. sometimes, he's a whiff sometimes if you see him whiff something, He's not trying to whiff. He's just fishing he's for out. you he's to... He's calling out your option. Yeah, calling out your option. Exactly. So the way that you beat that is by being aggressive and throwing out things that he's not looking to call out. Yeah. Uh, another way of uh, describing that would be stuffing. So, okay. So, yeah. Rockman is just being very oppressive right now. But he is going to get forced off stage. That was a pretty close forward smash, but... This game two? Yeah, this is game two. Yeah. Okay, that teleport was a little close. Could have definitely eaten a uh, hard knuckle there. Oh, and there speak of is. the devil. That's going to be an up tilt to end the game. All right, so we're rolling up into round three. Rockman has done an excellent job of adjusting it to the aggro playstyle, and then also knowing when to adjust from aggro back into zone. And he's sticking to those two things, not touching the whiff playstyle because of the amount of strength Palut Palutena has, but also still dabbling in it every so often to keep Jinx on his toes. He's masterfully All right. switching between the three play styles that he needs to do in order to clean up this game. I didn't know if he got to choose a skin or not. Uh, we're going with the... I don't know I don't know what uh, Robot Master that is, but we're going to roll with it. The Rock Man looks like a rock. Okay, let's see. So, Rockman is already kind of... Okay, he's finding his grounding. There he goes. 
uh, gonna try and do a Z drop, catch out a jump, but okay, we are gonna get a back air on the other side of the stage now. Spacing with some lemons. Okay. Jinx needs to start throwing out. I feel that he needs to start going down a bit more often. Oh gonna, no, uh, he, he jumped! Kidnapped. He jumped! He gets kidnapped. No! He got kidnapped. Yikes! Yeah, you'd hate to see that happen. That's oh, exactly man. what you don't do. <laughs> you don't jump. You just, he just, he panicked. I can totally understand it. It's happened right. to me before too. It happens to everybody at least once. Anyway. But uh, with him adopting this aggro playstyle, he needs to really start zoning him out. He needs to start putting out things where he thinks he's going to try to aggress him at. Like oh, wow. that right there. Excellent yeah. adjustment in a pure example. He knew he was going to try to... He knew he was going to try to cover his own option with the blade, so he just went for a forward smash expecting... Gotta start throwing out options, man. Expecting a whiff, you know. Gotta start throwing out options. Exactly what you were talking about before, whiff punishes. Yes. Whiff punishes. It's exactly what we want to see from Jinx waiting, here. Sitting back and waiting is not going to win him this game. He needs to start aggressing and he needs to start throwing out his buttons and really commanding his space. When, uh, when you're fighting against somebody that's... Oh, really wow. The aggro beautiful up tilt. That was a beautiful transaction going from him as he collects that cash into his wallet in the form of Jinx's stock. This ain't even a DLC character. <laughs> he okay. didn't need to pay five ninety nine for this asshole. <laughs> okay. So we're on the stage now. Jinx is... Doing his absolute best to keep him off. Uh, that up smash was just a little too early. Okay, can I try to do a cross up Z drop with that cut? And. Very okay, we though. have the blade again. We have the cut blade. Oh, oh nice shielding into explosion. Excellent knowledge coming off from the side. That is exactly what Jigs needs to start doing. Even though that whiff, that sends the message that he is not afraid to start owning his space. And that is the adjustment that Jinx needs to start making if he's going to sit there and aggress him. The aggro playstyle is not respecting your opponent in the opponent options. That was, that, they that, have was a, that was a nice counter edge guard with the, with the rising up air. That definitely saved his ass. <laughs> oh, wow, a parry. That, that could have been an up tilt, honestly. But, you know... You don't want to risk anything. You don't want to whiff because that move has a lot of end lag. That's going to be it. A clean wow. Oh. That's a 3 0 coming from Rockman. Jinx was not adjusting as quickly as he needed to. And that is why he lost that game. When it comes up to high level, again, it is not about who's better than who anymore. Everybody's good. What it's about an who insane makes the most match. Adjustments. Yeah. No, d definitely he did have a fundamental understanding of what he needed to do. Absolutely. He was prepared for a zoner. He wasn't prepared for Mega Man. Mega Absolutely. Man's a different breed of zoner. Absolutely. Able to switch between the three play styles almost seamlessly. Yeah. Because, like, you, you saw him eat a bunch of up tilts. Right. Like, that up tilt is crazy. You don't use it instead of your out of shield up smash. You just release your shield... And then you do the up tilt because the first two frames of it, I think that has super armor. Because you got that, you oh, wow, you have that. Um, what is it? The frame buffering. You know, the it stops for a second, and then the hit comes up. Right. Yeah. Excellent work coming out from the side of him, and we will be seeing both players soon. Uh, now sitting in grand finals, waiting for whoever is bold enough to face him. Rockman yep. gets to sit back comfortably and then study the matchup for all the other players. I who believe could be playing him. Yeah, I believe our next.